Hey, what's up? Rapid Pick here with another video. So, have you ever wondered which is the best home internet service provider in Kenya? Like the two leading internet service provider are Zuku Home Fiber and Safari Com Home Fiber. And in this video, I'm going to do an in-depth comparison between Zuku Fiber and Safari Com Home Fiber. So, grab a snack, hit the subscribe button, and let's get rolling. And I will take into consideration the following six key areas. One is cost and packages offered. Two is coverage. Three, I will do an in-depth internet speed test based on download speeds and upload speeds. Four is supplement features for both Zuku Fiber and Safari Home Fiber. Five is ease of access. And six is customer service provision. Eventually, I'll give my thoughts and which that I think wins and for what purposes exactly. So, let's see the cost and packages that Zuku offers versus what Safaricom offers. So, this is it. So, for Zuku, we have three categories. There's a 10 megabyte speed, 20 megabyte speed, and 60 megabyte speed. While for Safaricom, they have four categories. Number one is bronze, which is 8 megabytes per second. Two is silver, which is 20 megabytes per second. Three is gold, which is 40 megabytes per second. And eventually diamond, which is 100 megabytes per second. So, price comparison, the 10 megabytes for Zuku goes for 2,799. 20 megabytes, Zuku goes for 4,199. And 60 megabytes, Zuku goes for 5,999. While for Safaricom, 8 megabyte speed goes for 2999 silver goes for 4100 40 megabytes which is gold goes for 6299 and eventually diamond which is 100 megabytes goes for 12499 okay on the look and on the face of everything here zuku clearly wins zuku clearly outdoes safaricom on this another thing that is worth noting is that safaricom offers four packages and speeds up to 100 megabytes per second while Zuku on internet only offers a maximum speed of 60 megabytes per second so that's something that you all need to know because depending on the workload that you're going to put onto it it is best to know and understand that next category is coverage this is similarly similar on both and if you go to the official Zuku website and or Safari Common Fiber website you'll realize that slightly Safaricom wins over here because uh, they offer extra locations like in central Kenya and maybe Bungoma while Zuku is strictly available in Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa, Nakuru. Obviously for coverage Safaricom wins though slightly that brings it to a draw. Well moving to the next big part is internet speeds. This clearly is where things get more interesting and just hold a breath and see what really happens for both sides. I'm going to test a 20 megabytes Zuku fiber and a 10 or rather an 8 megabyte Safaricom fiber and I want to see how fair they compare. So let's start with the 20 megabytes Zuku fiber. Basically I'm going to do three comparisons. One is the general speed test. Then two is the download speed test, three is the upload speed test. I'm going to be using three websites, that is Google speed test, two is uh, speedtest.net, that is Okla, and three is MLAB. And uh, if any of those has any issue, then uh, I might have to include another fourth website. And this is going to be the first com, first.com. That is, uh, it is powered by Netflix, I think, and uh, we are going to use that, give an average, on each you are going to do three tests, give an average, give an average, and eventually get which provides the true speeds for what they speak for. This is what basically happens, so I'm going to just type speed test, speed test, and Google that, then 
the first result is what I'm going to do, just run a basic speed test and see. Remember this is a 20 megabyte Zuku fiber, so things are clearly fine with Zuku at this point. I kind of feel like the 30 megabyte speed that they're saying is kind of exciting, but for the upload speed, first test, things aren't working out for Zuku over here. There's 30.2 mega, 30 megabytes download speed and 2.11 megabytes upload speed. 5 milliseconds latency. So, this is not exactly what I expected, but we'll try and understand why they're doing this for the upload. Remember, this is a 20 megabyte speed. Why must they give us just 10% of our speed? And unfortunately, they don't mention this anywhere on their brochures or when doing your connection they never mention any of these so let's do a second test kind of Zuku internet has almost consistent results as now we can find ourselves at 31.86 megabytes per second and 2.09 megabytes per second upload and 4 millisecond latency I don't know why the latency keeps decreasing but anyway this finally this is the end results of uh, everything that I've been testing for Zuku fiber and my thoughts are why is it that I'm on a 20 megabytes internet speed but my download is going up to 30 which is kind of great but my upload is 10% of 20 megabytes meaning I can't really pass 2.5 at most which is even hard to get to most of the time it's at 2.1 2.08 so I'm not sure why they're doing this kind of thing but yeah at least now you know next is the Paricom fiber this i'm going to do in a different location but i'm going to test the eight megabytes per second speed 
but we want to see what really happened. Okay, things are a little exciting about Safaricom Fiber because the download speed and upload speed are slightly consistent. I had tried this earlier and I was slightly getting better download speed as compared to now. I'm not sure why, but generally Safaricom offers same upload and download speeds. For now, I think maybe the internet connection is not strong or something, but normally the connection is always consistent at 8 megapixel download and 8 megapixel upload and that's something that i really wanted to note about safaricom even if you're using the 20 megabyte speed that's something that's going to be consistent but there's also a challenge with safaricom that is safaricom irrespective of giving you unlimited internet connection it has a called fair use and this is, you can find it under the terms and conditions and service for 4g home plan but basically it means that there's a maximum amount of data that you can use before your speed is reduced Now with those crazy results, let's talk about S of use and access. For both of them, you can get connected within 48 hours from time of application, just basically by placing a call or for Zuku, preferably using a broker. It, I'm going to give a reason why that is important for Zuku, but for Safaricom, just send a message. You can easily get connection within a period of 48 hours, maximum. For number four, both have supplement features, but I think Zuku offers more compared to Safaricom. I think Zuku on triple play offers speeds of up to 500 megabytes per second, while Safaricom only maxes it out at 100 megabytes per second. Well, I'm trying to think with Safaricom with 100 megabytes per second, it means that my upload speed is also consistent at a roughly 100 megabytes per second, while for Zuku, my 500 megabytes per second, my upload speed is 50 megabytes per second. So, let me know what you think about the two. Okay, okay, maybe maybe I don't understand this. Why is it that on my download I get 20 megabytes, but on upload I only get 2 megabytes? So, fortunately, Zuku has picked up my call and I've tried to ask about why I'm getting that low speed for upload and they're like, the two packages, one you have a static IP address, that is where you get both the speeds the same and the other one you get 10% and that is what I'm trying to ask why did you not tell me this prior before making the installation and they are like uh, okay it's just a lot of conversation that doesn't really add up so what I've come to realize is that Zuku is really expensive generally because for the 20 megabyte speed to get both upload and download 20 megabytes 
I'm going to be paying 8,699. While for Safaricom, I'll be paying 4,199. I never asked for the others, but I was kind of just curious. If you're someone that is just streaming videos, watching movies, downloading stuff, but you hardly upload anything, then Zuku is okay. You can just get the, you can get any of the speeds and you'll just be perfectly fine. But the problem comes when you're someone like me who does upload a lot of videos or maybe you are working on multiple computers and you want to ensure that the data on this one is the same one. Maybe you have a server or something of the sort. At this point, you're going to have a lot, lots of problems. What are my final thoughts? Depending on your preferences, what you're going to be using the internet for, then that's going to be a key factor in determining which is perfect for you. Secondly, another thing that you're going to consider is availability. Is it available in a location or not? Thirdly is the customer service provision. I really wish I could simplify this, but for Zuku, the perfect way is to go through a broker. That way you're going to get easy access to the customer service as compared to this was just a one-time chance that I, honestly, I wasn't sure if I'm going to get Zuku on the call, but I'm lucky I did. So maybe they're changing, maybe they're trying, but for Safaricom, it's always a call away. And maybe if not, they'll call you back. You're doing a lot of streaming. Go with Zuku, it's cheaper, it's affordable, it offers value for money. But for Safaricom, still offering all the same, slightly expensive, but perfectly works fine. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Wesley and I'll see you in the next video. And by the way, if you want to see a review on this uh, big speaker, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Peace.